to the fact that man was a man of the uh, in the back of Maryland at the firehouse. Took a little home time. Um, had some things to do at the firehouse and uh, some projects to take care of. But yeah, I've been grinding on the road, y'all. Been grinding on the road. Um, a lot of frustrations going on on the road. Uh, to the point that I almost parked this damn truck and left this motherfucker, you know? Just the back and forth between a, a, a shipper um, when I was in um, Mrs. No, M Memphis. And, um, you know, they want you to show up with the trailers washed and stuff like that. I got the trailer from a shop in Dallas. And um, it was it was absolutely horrible. Like someone used it as a dumpster. And, you know, it's not something that that you could just push out with a broom and stuff like that or, or blow it out, you know. Why, why should you have to? So I went to get it washed. It took like an hour and a half. Everybody knows Blue Beacon sometimes, depending on the time of day you go, the lines are crazy. Um, so I ended up being late to the call. I mean, to the uh, to the call. <laughs> I ended up being late to the load. Um, probably about two hours late to the load. And then, which in turn um, made me late to the appointment, the 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 morning that I had to be in Memphis. Which, when I got there, I, I explained this to the fleet manager ahead of time that I was going to be late and the reasons why. Um, but because I was late, they said, oh, uh, your appointment is pushed back till tomorrow if there's an appointment. So, um, tomorrow comes, and then they're trying to squeeze me in. They're not accepting squeezings or work-ins is what they call it and then um what else happened so it became it became an issue like they wanted me to sit on this load for four days and I was like yeah I, I'm not I'm not doing that y'all better come up with a better solution like um so needless to say they came up with a a, a drop yard in Memphis uh actually eight miles from where I was at dropped the trailer there and went on about my business. Then they sent me to Tennessee to pick to Tyson's to pick up a trail. I get 30 miles away. And then they messaged me and said, hey, we need you to drive four hours back to pick up to Searcy, Arkansas, to pick up a load, pick up a trailer and a load. And I'm like, I'm 30 miles from where you, you know, literally 20, 26 miles to be exact. So that pissed me off and, um, you know, the fleet manager at the, at the it was nighttime, so he's like, yeah, you know, I'm sorry about all back and forth. I'm like, you know, I'm about to just park this truck and tell him I'm not, you know, mentally there, and I'll just regroup and wait till Steve comes back in the morning, you know. He said, well, I, yeah, I don't want you to lose out on money, and I'm, I'm like, I'm already losing out on money. Like, this back and forth shit, like, so... My fleet manager didn't know the whole story, so I gave it to him the next day. A lot of things he didn't know. So, and he ended up paying me for my inconvenience, the layover, the roundabout back and forth shit. So, um, if I sound a little adjusted, my allergy is kicking my ass. I'm just changing weather and stuff like that. So, but yeah, it was, it's definitely been frustrating. Um, but I ain't parked the truck. I'm still here, obviously. I got the truck with me at the firehouse, so. Um, yeah, I intended on seeing the new rescue squad. I'm, I'm on a new rescue squad committee, and I uh, respect out the new squad. And, um, you know, we're very meticulous and stuff when we're building something, a uh, big project like this. And so we found some things wrong, and that's why it's not here this week. Um, so I guess I will try to make it back out here um but yeah other than that got my pc back so i'm going to um i gotta take another laws class and then take the training training class and hopefully i can start training but i got to thinking like holidays coming up and do i really want to be responsible for a student and, you know you, you gotta feel bad if you go home, if I go home, and then, like, they want to go home, but they can't, or... 
So it's something to think about about the holidays. I mean, I might just wait till January to do it. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Uh, but yeah, man, I'm in Maryland right now. Have run some good calls. I'll put a video at the end. Um, I was uh, riding the seat of the squad, and my buddy was driving. It was good to see him. Good to see a lot of the guys back here at the firehouse and stuff like that. Um, it's a real good video. Real good video. Um, of us uh, responding to an accident on 95. Um, luckily, it was um, just property damage. Um, so ran a couple calls, a couple calls, gas leaks and stuff like that, uh, wrecks, you know, medical stuff. So it was a good time, good time, good time. Uh, but other than that, guys, yeah, I apologize for not getting the video out in so long. Uh, but like I said, I've been grinding. You know, once you get out of training, it's 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 a little different um, because you're driving by yourself, you're doing everything by yourself, and um, honestly, you just be tired. Like last thing I'd be thinking about is YouTube. Be honest with you. Um, I told you I'd be honest with you guys. So, but uh, yeah, I got some downtime. It's like six something in the morning, six or almost seven now. So. I'm an early riser. That hasn't changed. And I always used to um, get up in the morning when I stay, stay at the firehouse um, and just clean, walk around, fix stuff. That's always been me. But that's what I did, y'all. Um, but, yeah, if you guys know anybody that's donating cars or any type of vehicle, uh, we are taking donations for old cars so we can practice. Uh, and be able to, you know, be ready for any situation that, that comes up. Because um, if you see back here, this is where we practice uh, different scenarios of cutting cars. Um, we had this one donated to us. Um, you know, Volkswagen. And we had uh, a couple cars back here that we, like I said, do different scenarios and stuff on. So, but yeah, donating vehicles, please let us know. And that's Berwyn Heights Volunteer Fire Department, Berwyn Heights, Maryland, No Holds Nation, Station 14. So, I'm not sure what I'm doing the rest of the day if I'm driving or still the officer in charge. Um, but when I'm not driving the tractor trailer, driving a tiller truck. Probably the baddest ladder truck in the land. That's the driver's compartment. That's where the guys sit. Oh yeah. It's truck fourteen. Everybody's still asleep, as you can see. This is my office. You know, keep the lid right there. A lot of things you got to do before you get to a call, whether it be looking up maps, call information, maps here, nothing but maps. This is the old squad, Memphis Bell. It's actually going to a uh, parade uh, in Rockville, Maryland. They're celebrating their 100th anniversary for their department. And they ask for old uh, squads. Squad 14B, Memphis Bell. Still in service. Thank you, over 20 years. It's actually still in service. So whenever our main rescue squad goes down, which is a C grave here, whenever this one goes down or on the shop or something like that, we switch everything over to the B squad. So. Yep, but this is my baby right here. My baby.
But yeah, guys, I will uh, put that video up of us uh, going to the call. And uh, other than that, man, I might take my ass back to sleep. Uh, yeah, y'all be good. Y'all be safe.